Welcome Hotgates Gamers to some more Guild Ball Match Report content. Yeah. With your hotcakes gaming host James, and this is unbelievable. Finally I, happened. I can't believe this. We've <laughs> a long time in the making, guys. This is Gilboy Informer Jay Finnegan. Hi, guys. A good friend of mine, and mm -hmm. the very guy who got me into this game. Correct. Yeah, that was a. That was. Oh, that's all right, isn't it? That was, <laughs> that was late one night before we had to drive to London at six in the morning the day after. I right. started mine drinking beer playing Guildhall. Yep, didn't drink too much beer because no. we were driving. Yeah. Uh, I'd just like to point out. Um, <laughs> but we did, yeah. yeah, you were like, you've got to get into this game. It mm. looks like it's going to be a cool game. You wrote me in, you put some butchers in front of me, and the rest is history. That's it, yeah, never look back. Never look back, and of course, since then, have filmed Abattoir Away Days. <laughs> but Abattoir Away Days is over, and I can't believe that we didn't manage to get you. <laughs> it was ridiculous. Wasn't it? Well, I was saying to, I was saying to you before. Yeah. I thought that you were going to be, you know, you mm. in there at least as much as Chris. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know, I think I've been in three match reports with him now. Mm. Um, now, as you guys know, if you've been following mm -hmm. the Guildhall match report content, I'm doing another series. Season two, yeah. Uh, season two and season two. To it. Yeah, it's going to be good. It's yep. going to be good. And uh, for anybody who follows HGG on Facebook or Twitter, uh, or even goes onto the Guildhall Informer Facebook page where I tend to post up updates for yes. the hobby stuff, you'll know that my alchemists aren't finished. If anybody's got any great tips on how to paint flasks and luminous liquids, please <laughs> put it in the comments below because I don't want to get it wrong because they're lovely, lovely, mm. lovely miniatures. Uh, so Jay is very kindly lending me the alchemists yep. for what isn't going to be the first of the series. No, it's not. This is Learning Alchemist Match Report. Jay, just like when we did when we learned the butchers, yep. is going to take me through this game with his mm -hmm. wonderful fish. So what we're going to do is we're going to get down, I'm going to show you the two teams right now. So here we are. These are the beautifully painted alchemists of Mr. Gilboy and former Jay Finnegan. Painted by Outstanding friend of mine, I've not seen him for too long, Myrtle, James Baldwin of Idrisil Painting Studios, who paints most of your stuff. Yes, <laughs> he does, yeah. Uh, but that's one of the things about running channels, it becomes harder and harder to get time to paint, and we need to get content out, we need the teams, don't we? Right. Uh, so here we go, this is the team which I have been painting back at home, which is why I've chosen it. There's no tailoring here or anything at all, these literally are the six models that I will be using for most of the series, although I would like to give a shout out to Pat Giles, who sent me a venue. He did, that was really cool, yeah. He's a cool guy, I like you. I like you Pat Giles, I know that you're watching this. Okay, so we have, of course have Midas. Midas is the team captain, Midas, the man that can do everything, can take a lot of influence, uh, can generate a lot of momentum pretty quickly, Correct. quite good at scoring goals, nicking things off other teams, nicking good plays, uh, and all round good guy. But can take a lot of the influence away from the rest of the team. It's a conditions-based team. Next to him, we of course have Calculus. Calculus can whack out a bit of blind. She yeah. creates poison. Of course, blind has been a little bit nerfed. A little bit. Just a little bit, so it'll be interesting seeing her in action there. And next to her, we have another king of the condition game. We have Mercury, another model which I want to wait before painting because I've never painted flame before. So anybody who's good at painting fire, comment in the comment section below. He, of course, is there to burn stuff up and control the game. And another character who is in there for a control factor is, of course, Compound over on that left hand side. Great job with the luminous green, really impressed with uh, the color scheme there with Mr. Compound. He is, of course, the goalkeeper. He's there to make it a little bit harder for the opponents today, which are, of course, the fishermen scoring a goal. Uh, over on the far right hand side, we have one of possibly one of my favorite characters, I think, in terms of a yes. card. Because mainly because she reminds me a little bit of Shank in a lot of ways, <laughs> uh, but maybe a little bit better in some ways. I don't know. She's pretty good. Uh, it's Vitriol, of course. Vitriol benefits of course from cover and attacking things in cover but she's a very very good goal scorer and she moves very fast as well as having a decent tack and next to her of course we have the captain uh, the captain we have the mascot flask who drops smoke and that's about it really pulls victory all around giving her cover it certainly does <coughs> so there we go a little bit of a rundown of the alchemist in this learning alchemist match report let's show you the fishies and the opponents ahead of the alchemists who are going to teach him a thing or two today we think it is the fishies just fresh from the tournament huh jay yeah fresh from the tournament where uh, have you been saturday where did you go 
Uh, we went up to the outpost in Sheffield. It was good. Fantastic. Really good. There we go. Lots and lots of tournaments going on for Guild Ball around the country. So if you're not already got involved, make sure that you get yourself onto the various Facebook groups and forums and go and check out those because they are literally springing up everywhere from 16 men to 128 men tournaments such as the Mighty Vengeance, which is going to be happening later this year. So, of course, we have a fish team here, a fish team that's been pretty conscious of who's not in there because of Midas's true replication. Over on the right hand side, we have Shark the captain great goal scorer provide a massive threat uh, also got a pretty good play as well yes which is gun string is that right gun string's very good uh tidal surge is also brilliant and he's got a very good legendary that's an eight inch pulse of minus four minus four move which is brilliant for the fish fantastic and who's next to him uh we've got salt the mascot next who is useless just an intervening model who will stand in front of the goal all game uh then we've got grayscales third along he is um He's quite reasonably fast, he's got Where'd They Go, which is one of the better abilities in the game, and unpredictable movement, so a very good ball holder. I'm making a note of that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, next to him we've got Jack, who is one of the people who's only in the team because of Midas. He is a bit of a brute, he's got tough hide, and he's very good at pushing people around. And then next to him we've got Hemlock, who is the other player who I don't usually use. She is there for um, smelling salts, and she's got good defence, and just to be a bit of a pain. And last up is my second favourite player after Shark, which is Sakana. He is fast, he's got an 8 inch kick and he ignores armour. Fantastic, so there we go. Those are the fishies. We're going to get ourselves set up and get this match report on the go. So in front of your eyes, guys, you can see the Hot Gates Gaming, the Black Dice. Uh, the Black Dice have performed pretty well mm -hmm. in the uh, Hobbit SBG Adventures in Arda series. Uh, this is a little bit of a thank you. These are going out to some of the patrons who are back in above a certain level. Uh, just to say thank you, guys. If you've not received them yet, they will be on the way soon. So what Jay and I have to do at the start of the game is to roll mm -hmm. to see who's kicking and receiving, but you also choose which board side. Correct. Uh, and, of course, that can be quite important when you are the alchemist, as Jay's just reminded me, because of things like where the cover is and the like. Correct. Uh, so here we go, we're going to roll. Yep. Who is going to be kicking and receiving? <laughs> oh, we re-roll luckily. Uh, so Gilboy Informer dice and mm -hmm. HGG dice have matched off. They couldn't be more cocked. It's a four, it's not bad. <laughs> it's a four! The channels are matched. <laughs> <laughs> They're matched. Make sure you go and check out Gilboy Informer yeah. if you haven't already. <laughs> okay, here we go. Oh, it's five. Can I do it? Duh, so you get to choose, are you kicking, receiving, and where are you going to start? I will kick the ball and I'll stay here. Good man, thank you very much. <laughs> We're going to crack on. Here we go. So we are both set up, and as you can see, the fishermen have stayed pretty spread out, and the ball is there with Shark, whereas the alchemists have stayed pretty clumped up together. Whether that's right or not, we shall see. So we're going to start off with Shark kicking the ball, and this is all pre-measured, of course. So he's going to move to there, and he's going to kick the ball just to about, we'll go there. So he's just going to there. So here we go. So we're going to roll the dice to see whether this successful kick, and of course he's got a kick of four. Just, just. he nails it. Um, I will use white dice for direction. White dice for direction. So it's going to go into one, and it's going to go two inches. Are you happy with that? Uh, yes. So the ball is just going to scatter out that direction, and there we go. The ball finishes in its position. Not a terrible position there for the fish, mm. I have to say. Pretty good. And that's how it's looking, so we're going to go over to Allocation of Influence. It's the pitch after Allocation of Influence, so of course I've stacked up a reasonable amount of influence there on Midas, because he does like his turn one shenanigans where he can go and try and steal something, and uh, looking very tempting. I think it's no secret that Jack is probably with the main target with his Grace red digger. Grey Scales, that's his name. Yeah. There we go, just all fish to yeah. me. Um, and down here we've got Mercury, he's got two. I was tempted to put a little bit more on him and try and uh, get some of the conditions up early game, but maybe not. Nothing on the two guys back here, don't really need that early on. Uh, just one on Calculus, while Vitriol is, uh, is staying quite a big threat there in cover with her four. In the meantime, across the pitch, of course, Shark, he's got He's got loads. Got six. <laughs> he will get six every turn. For He's got six. Um, and then over here we've got two on Sakana, one on Hemlock, one on Jack, and three, three on Grayscales. Yep. Three on Grayscales. So there we go. That's how it's looking after allocation of influence. We're going to go into turn one Alchemists. 
and it's going to be Mercury that starts the proceedings for the Alchemists. So he is going to be moving uh, six and a half up, which takes him to there, which will snap the ball, and then we're going to bring him back the remaining inch and a half back to that position. Uh, so because he sprinted that, costs one. Uh, he's then going to kick the ball, and he's got a kick of three. Is it Mercury? Turn the card over quickly. There'll be lots of this in this game. He's got a kick of four. Yeah, he's a machine. He's a four machine. Okay, so we do have some alchemist dice here. So he's going to be kicking the ball to Mr. Midas. Can he get a four plus? And he does. So he's going to successfully pass the ball there, and with that, he's going to generate a point of momentum. Next up, it's the mighty feared salt. The mighty salt, and he is going to do a grand total of staying right there, and he's done. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> so, just as when I was learning the butcher's team, Jay's been a fantastic coach here, and we're already having some great discussions about some of the options. Of course, it's very tempting there to maybe try and get Midas releasing the ball and going and doing his thing now. Um, but what we're going to do instead is just going to try and hinder Shark a little bit. Um, so, what we're going to do is going to move up with Calculus. She's going to stay within the cover there, just blocking part of the route to the ball. And she's going to spend her single one there, and also the point of momentum. Yes, it's a bonus time. It's a bonus time. Uh, needing fours to blind sharp. Correct. Okay, now of course blind is different now, so as I roll it, what does blind do now? Blind is now minus two, minus two movement, minus two tack, and minus two, minus two kick. Sounds good. And I, I believe blind. that's a six. So he is now blinded which is great news and calculus has done her job so it's back over the fish and hemlock's going to be moving up six inches just to that position there yeah, she's going to sprint actually she's going to go eight oh she's so going to go to she's eight she's going to spend a one to sprint eight to that oh wow and gets herself into that position there Gilboy and former Jay and I are having a great time here, mm. sussing out these uh, the alchemists. And we think that we're gonna we're gonna try something here. Maybe go for a turn one kill. Hard to hit, but mm. Hemlock, it's tempting. Yeah, very tempting. So what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna spend one here. He's gonna pop up his legendary. Legendary goes legendary first. Legendary yep. goes first. Um, you know, he can only use it once per game. This means that for the first three points of influence he spends, he's gonna gain a point of momentum. Right, momentum yeah. Fantastic. So he's going to spend this influence here. So he's gonna generate one momentum. Yep. And he's gonna pass the ball to Vitriol. So he has got a kick of four, is it? Uh, three or four. Pass. Three or four. He's all the way over there with the card oh, the wrong way around. Because <laughs> I've been staring at it. Three, three, eight. Three, eight. Okay. So we need four plus here. <gasps> oh, he gets it. Oh, just, just gets it. Okay. So he's effectively gaining two momentum there. So you got to two momentum. Ball goes yeah. to Vitriol, and he's going to spend that to knee slide. It's called knee slide, isn't it? Uh, Is that right? Give and go. Give and go. There Pass we go. And go so Pass and go. Uh, up into that position there, and then from that position there, he's going to be walking up, and he's going to be beating on uh, Hemlock. Using his heroic for plus one damage on the way. He certainly is. Okay, so he then spends the other point of momentum to do that heroic, and then he is just going to walk up. He's got a walk up of five. Ba -ba 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 -ba. He's going to go just into that position. She's not got any weird tricks, has nope, she? No, she's good. She's staying where she is. She's staying where she is, and we're going to start hitting her now. Mm -hmm. So he's going to spend his next point of influence here, which of course gains him a momentum there. And he's got six here, and he might as well. Does he bonus time these, do you think? Or do you uh, what do you, what's your one damage on? Uh, one damage is uh, one. It's just on one. one Realistically, point. if you yeah. hit the one damage every time, Hemlock will go down. Uh, yeah. Six dice, one five. Yeah, yeah, do. should do that. Okay, yeah. so here we go. Here we go. Um, so needy in the single five. Uh, we get two, um, which is of course what we need. So we're going to do one damage, which goes to two. Correct. I'm going to spend another one here to go again and do the same. So that takes us up to two minutes, and that's now his legendary done. Yes. Okay, so we got two there. We're going to hit again, and oh, one, one. So that's going to be another two damage, which mm -hmm. is what we want. And we're going to spend the next one. Okay, so let's go. Ooh, and we three. get to get three, which is still going to be uh, the two damage. Mm -hmm. We're going to spend the next one. Here we go. And we got four that time. And that's going to become three damage. No problem. She's got one left. She's got one left. So we're going to spend that last one. Here we go. Last one. We've got one left, and we get it. And that is going to be the takeout there. Hemlock. 
on Hemlock. Oui. So a turn one takeout for King Midas. That's going to gain us a point of momentum for taking right. her out. She goes off. And she's going to be off the pitch. So leaves him a little bit vulnerable perhaps, um, but a little bit of turn one goodness there from the King Midas himself. Right. It's over to the Fisherman and Sakana. What's he going to do? He's going to charge Midas literally a midge over an inch away as to not trigger his unpredictable. Here we go. And so he has got attack of five, base, and four for charges. So it's nine dice needing fives. Are you gonna defensive stance or counter? Uh, you've charged, so yes. I think I will spend one to defensive stance. Good call. Sixes. Two. Get two. I will take a momentous one inch dodge. So a momentous one inch dodge. And I will dodge just short of base contact. There we go, sustain in there. Hmm. So that's Sakana, he's done his bit. Momentum on the board for the fish, it goes back over to the alchemists. It's the turn of the beautifully painted compound. And staying within four inches of the goal, he is just gonna trot up into this position here, covering the rest of his team. And that's gonna put it back over to the fishies. So for the fishies, next up is the turn of Jack. And what's he gonna be doing? All he's gonna do is he's gonna sprint forward to there, which does keep him just out of compound six. Or rush keeper. And that's that's him. him. Which brings us back over to the alchemist. So as tempting it is to do a little bit of a throwaway move with Flask, very very tempting because it would force, of course, it's going to be a reasonably quick game if it starts going to goal scoring. Um, it would force one of these two to have to go next. Um, but I'm a little bit worried about intervening models and losing the opportunity. So what we are actually going to do, of course, Vitrol is in cover, she's super super fast. We are going to be charging against Jack. I believe his name is, mm -hmm. and it's going to be going up to that position now, which is two inches away from him, and it's just shy of eight inches of the goal. Um, so she's got the ball there, and she has charged him, so that's cost two. Mm -hmm. Okay, so are you going to declare anything? I'll defensive style. Um, oh, hooey, hooey, hooey. Um, fourth one, still lots of dice. Uh, no. So you're not going to do anything? No. Fantastic, so we're going to get the dice together, and we're going to be hitting Jack now. So here we go, she needs threes with one armour, threes with one armour, looking for a couple of results here. Um, so those ones go, and then we remove one as well. So she got five hits, so we're going to look at her playbook now and see what she can do. So five is outstanding, she's going to do a momentous three damage, now she does get a two inch dodge from this, but she would be wasting influence if she just went straight into scoring there, and she's, she's keen on doing something, at least keeping... I know that Shark's there with lots on him and, <laughs> and he's going to be able to whack up a huge amount of influence but at least it keeps me sniffing. Um, so with that, she's done three damage and gained that momentum. Just just, just quickly, it's two thanks to Tough Hide, just for the video. Oh, two, two for Tough Hide, there we go. Oh, it's tough to hit. Okay, so we're going to spend the next one mm -hmm. and we're going to hit again. Okay. Are you going to do anything? Uh, just in case it's a bad roll, I'll counter this one. So you're going to counter this one, mm -hmm. okay? So she's got tap five, and we need is it tap five. Yeah, she's got tap five, and we need threes with one armor. And there well, it is. <laughs> so she gets four, which is going to be exactly what she wants. So if we come around here, um, so for what she's going to do is the momentous push dodge Correct. on the four. Uh, so we're going to gain another point of momentum, which takes up to four there, and we're going to work out that push dodge now. So, of course, Vitro, she's going to take her push dodge. She's going to start off with her dodge and she's going to be moving to an eight inches of the goal there, which gives her a nice line past Salt there, which is what we want. She's going to be shooting in a second. Uh, but in the meantime, we're also just going to push Jack here uh, just to block off from the camp just to there. So there we go, an inch there. And she is now going to use her final point mm -hmm. to shoot. Okay, now we know that this can become ping pong, but a six nil, possibly six four lead mm -hmm. at the start. It's too good to miss. Bonus time. Uh, but, 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 no, she's got how many dice to shoot? Four. I'm pretty sure. Don't check. Yes, she's four eight. I'm going to keep it. Okie doke. <laughs> the nervous nice look. Now, this is, this is a fisherman who, <laughs> who failed how many kicks at the weekend? Uh, five rounds, I missed seven shots. It's not going to happen with vitriol. Oh, oh, she gets it. Oh, she gets it with two fives. So she does score, and that is going to put the alchemists into a 6 0 lead. But the ball is going to bounce back out, and we're going to see what happens with that now. So, Mr. Finnegan is uh, putting the ball out there, and a one or a six, he's not confident. <laughs> no. So, uh, so, which direction? White is, going? is direction. Black is distance. 
in the two, 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 two. It's not too bad. It's not too bad. Not too bad. Uh, it okay. will go to there, and I can snap it to Shark. Fantastic. Well. Shark now has the ball, so look forward to seeing some goal scoring shenanigans next. Yes. <laughs> uh, and we are going to go, of course, to the fish. Here we go. <laughs> GBI Finnegan looking at the wrong card. Yeah. We've got we've got Grayscales yeah. here. Grayscales is going to be charging up, and he's going to charge up next to Vitriol. He's doing that. He's moving into that position now, uh, and he spent two to do that. So you will need fives here. I'm not going to use any momentum. I want to keep myself in the game for next turn. Okay. Um, Easily important. Nine dice so. needing fives. And you get oh, two. Oh, that's awful. That's a wonderful, <laughs> wonderful bosh there. But we do get those two, which is okay. Momentous one inch dodge, is it? Uh, yep, I'll take the momentous one inch dodge. So he's going to take that one momentous one inch dodge. Uh, he'll probably just. Yeah, he keeps himself there or thereabouts. Yeah. And he's got five dice now. It's a bright so attack. Fires an attack. What's he get? Three. Uh, he gets three that time. Better that's than the charge. Uh, he will take a momentous. Where'd they go? And momentous where they go, and that's pretty good. And he's going to move out to that position there. Ooh, that's a nice position. <laughs> that's a nice position. Uh, so with that, it's going to take things back over to the final alchemist mover, which is of course Flask. So it's Flask, and he's just going to go and give a little bit of cover. Think about next turn for the influence. And he's just going to go and pop himself into this gap there, and he's going to drop that cover on himself. Clipping Mercury, and that's going to put it back over to the fishies. Nearly some uh, travesties from Shark there. Almost forgot about the gluttonous mass of the <laughs> big dude here. Um, but he, he is going to be. Does he have to quick foot to. No, he doesn't. He can just make it in on him with yes, this. Yes, he can just make it in with him. Uh, so he's going to charge. And he charges in a straight line. He's charging Mercury there. We've measured all this. He's in that line. Okay, so he's outside of the inch of Mercury. And he's made sure he's engaged compound just to make sure there's no rush keeping going enough. Fantastic. Okay, so he has charged. Mm hmm. So he's tack six, but down to four because of blind. Four because uh, of blind, so plus, plus four. four for the charge, and then minus one for compound. Minus one for seven compound. Seven dice. So you got seven uh, dice. Hang on, minus one for cover from flask. Six dice. Six dice. He will be bonus time in that. So he's going to bonus time that. Seven dice. <laughs> seven dice. Now, what do you? What result do you need to get here? Um, so I want more than I can actually get. I've not thought about this very well. Uh, two will be good. Um, Get two. Six would be amazing, but I doubt that. <laughs> <laughs> two would be good, and you need uh, currently you need fours with one armor. Correct. So uh, I might spend it. Uh, yeah. I might, I might spend it and defensive stance myself. Yeah, it's a good shout. I'm going to defensive stance him. Let's give that a go and see what happens. We'll talk about whether that's a good idea in a second. But five to one. Five to one. Okay, so. Oh, that's that's blind has really hindered him this turn, I must admit. Five to one, but that's a good roll. Um, take one away. Three, take one away. Uh, so you get the two. That's going to be a two inch dodge, which i probably best figure out off camera. Certainly will do. So he gets the two inch dodge, which he needs, and we're going to work out what he does next. And Shark's just going to do the two inch dodge. Just get himself into that position there. Correct. There we go. Uh, so he used two to charge. So he's got four left, is that right? Four left, yep. He does have the ball as well. He does have the ball as well. He will buy an attack on compound. So he's going to buy an attack on compound. Mm -hmm. uh, compound. Mm -hmm. Now you've got two inch dodge, haven't you? So I'm going to work out whether I counter or not here. So of course, counter attacking would be appealing because gluttonous mass yeah. <laughs> means that that's, uh, that's going to be ignored. But I would. Pause on one. I've only got four dice here because of the cover. I would need to get four results to get the knockdown, which would be amazing. <laughs> but um, but I'm not going to risk that. That would be that would be a little bit too gutsy, I think. Um, so I'm just going to take it here. So you are attack four. Attack four because of blind. There, there is no crowding, so I just need to hit you, which I do, which will trigger gluttonous mass. It certainly does. So nothing happens. Nothing happens there. And I'll buy another attack. And you buy another attack. Okay. So you got four here. Uh, three is one. one. Uh, so, so you don't one. one. That's okay. I will take the momentous one inch dodge. So, momentous one inch dodge, which takes you up to two momentum. Mm -hmm. And you move yourself into that position now. Mm -hmm. He will buy another attack. Buy another attack, which is second to last one. Yep. Mm. And that goes up to two. I will bonus time this. I'm going to bonus time this one. Threes and one. Threes and one. Get some ones. Uh, no, you get miss. two hits. That one's armour. So oh, yep, three. 
So you've got three that time, which is much better. Uh, I will probably just take the momentous one inch dodge anyway to get out of your melee. So a momentous one inch dodge to get out of the melee. Just to there. There we go. And then he will take the shot. And you're going to take the shot. So you're going to spend that momentum. Mm -hmm. So you're down to nothing. And that. And you got the shot. So you're minus what's minus two. From kick oh, you can't blind. shoot. I've completely forgot. And it's too late now. It's minus two to the range of the kick. That's what they've just changed. Oh, no <laughs> way! <laughs> I very oh, rarely, rarely do this. Doing. No, he's in. He's in. Forget it. It's fine. <laughs> he's in. <laughs> six inches, yeah. Yeah, six. <laughs> God for an eight inch kick. Panic oh. over. Oof. Oh yeah, sorry, because that's not that's bad. Not, yeah. <laughs> that's not bad. I was looking at that, I was thinking that's not six inches. What you want But it is a two dice kick. It's a two dice kick, two. yeah. Uh, and you're out of my two inch melee, aren't you? So yes. you're not getting any of that. Uh, and I can't bonus time it, so it's just two dice. Two dice to get the goal. Uh, he gets it. He gets it, so that's going to take it to six, four. And you gain a point of momentum. Yes. And the ball is going to bounce back out, and that is the last one of the turn. The last move of the turn, a goal from Sharp. That's Pretty cool, I enjoyed that. Uh, would you have been an inch away from that? Yeah, you would have been an inch away from her, but we're not going to worry about that. Okay. Because uh, <laughs> yeah. we've done, we've already gone from yeah. that. Yeah, don't worry about that. Um, so what we're going to do is I'm going to put that ball out and we're going to see who's going to go next. Mm. So, there was temptation going up that way, vitriol coming back, getting something going the next turn. Mm. I'm, I'm surprisingly winning the momentum. <laughs> yeah, no, I bet. It was a bit of a I, surprise. Yeah. Probably a little bit tougher for tougher a journey uh, because of the blind. The, that blind was, was key to this turn actually. It was a very good move. Great work down there. Mm. So one dice, one dice, one dice. Uh, it's a hard one to get off. Mm. Um, but we are going to bounce the ball out. I think it's a little bit safer going down this route. Uh, so the ball is going to go in the four. It's going to go in the one. <laughs> and it's going to go one inch. It's going to go five inches. Oh dear. <laughs> Uh, bah, 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 bah. Does it go? Does it stop at cover? No, it lands there. Um, you've got area there. of least disturbance. Like, at that point, it's going to be clipping it, so you literally put it there. Literally there? Yep. Um, and I can choose for the ball to snap, can mm -hmm. I? Uh, it, shouldn't, it doesn't look like it's within an inch of Jack. Uh, ah, it actually. Yeah, it probably is just. Uh, it's just out. Oh, just out. Okay. We, we would have had a, uh, an opposed roll for that. Okay. Where you roll a d6 and add your kick, but he's just out, so calculus can snap it. Yeah, and worth snapping it. You okay? I think leave it. You reckon? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm such an amateur. Well, there's that, there's that part of you just to give you guys out there a little bit um, of thinking. There's a little I, bit that if you get the first turn roll, I off, would say probably give it second. to her because you likely go first and vitriol's in snapshot range. If you can generate some momentum and then pass. Vitriol could score a snapshot oh, for that situation. Okay, dog. Yeah, so we'll snap, we'll snap it there. We're going to snap it too. We're going to listen to the pro. I'm not. <laughs> uh, this is the Teaching Alchemists, and uh, it's been a very interesting game so far. Uh, so there we go. That is our pitch. Hope you're all enjoying the game so far. I'm enjoying it. It's just great catching up with you today. Yeah, it's good. I've, I've missed you. It's been I've too long. You. You're a horrible man leaving me for so long. <laughs> um, so I'm on plus three at the moment. You are. You're um, going to roll a one, no. Huh? No, I'm not. You okay, are. ready? Yep. Done. So what? Here we go. It's not. It's now coming sign. Oh, it's a three. Uh, uh, I get it. I, a six can make us re-roll. Nah, nah, mate. Guild ball in form of six. Nah, coming up. Not, not happening. Ah! Yes. It's the re-roll. Call it. I learned that from you. Call a six and it happens. It happens. It's, it's a wonderful <laughs> moment in all reports. Ready? Roll the one. No. Oh, he takes it, but the alchemist dies. But, but, uh, that's great news. It is great news. Wonderful, wonderful news. There we go. I wonder what might be happening. There you go. <laughs> Bit of a clue. Um, you, you didn't go and score, but then I'm on 10. Uh, 10 just focus on getting the kill. So here we go. Uh, let's go into allocation of influence. So for the alchemist, as Jay has rightly just said, has to end this turn. He's going to he's going to wrap quick this game. We think so. We hope so. Um, um, you, know, you, you go into games, and I think that the the better you become at playing and understanding Guild Ball, you look at it and go, okay, how how's my opponent going to win? So yep. for the fish, you know that scoring three goals is the thing. Mm. But you look at this versus the fish, you're quite delicate, you know. But the alchemists aren't a damage dealing team. You know that it's probably going to be two takeouts, two goals. Yes, probably, probably going to be that. Uh, and we do have an opportunity here for that. Um, so you can see that we've got four on vitriol. We've stacked up Midas because we are thinking about the kill, uh, yep. but we've got some over here on Calculus who, girl of the match so far, mm. that blind was awesome. It uh, was. And she yeah. might be an even better 
She uh, could be she, setting up an assist for a goal now as well. She could be, yeah. So she's uh, she's up for up for one of the match. Um, we've also got Shark down here. He's got a bunch on him. Uh, we've got Grace Gals, who's got a bunch on him, and Jack, who's got a few on him. That's a kind of, That's a kind of, Sakana, so kind of, I'll get them in the end, these fish. Yeah, uh, so there we go. So we're going to come back. We first turn Alchemist. Of course, that is going to be Calculus. Good. So setting it up for the 50-50 mm. throw. <laughs> 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 going to be good fun here. Okay, so here we go. She's going to charge in like so, as you can see there. Um, so she has charged him. And uh, so that costs her two. And we need to get a good result here. We need to get a good result. Okay, so that takes her up to eight. She's tucked four normally. Mm -hmm. uh, and we need, was it three? Threes with one armor on Jack. So, so threes with one armor, we want a good throw. Ooh. So that's not great. But then we've got that number. So we're gonna take one away for armor. And we got four hits. Now four is gonna be what we need. So we're gonna do the momentous two damage, mm -hmm. uh, which also has the push dodge, which is what we need in order to do what we want to do. Yes. So as you can see, we have pushed Jack into that position and Calculus has moved up an inch in that direction. And she's gonna spend her next one and she's gonna pass the ball to Vitriol. So she's gonna pass the ball to Vitriol and she's got, she's got a decent kick, hasn't she, Calculus? She, she has got a kick of three, six. Mm -hmm. So she's gonna do that. So, um, four plus. we're going for a four plus here. <laughs> Jay's, <laughs> Jay's face is a picture, guys. I want, you to, I want you to imagine what it is. Four plus. <laughs> it's a successful one there. Okay, which takes us up to, to two. two. And then we are snapshooting. We're snapshotting, yeah. Which now, does is that cost two? Two. cost two. So there's not going to be a chance to bonus time in. I believe that we need uh, two results. Two successes. Here. Two successes. Now, Vitriol. Mm. That's it. This is, uh, this, is, this is cool, as you can see. Perfectly in line with the goal there. Never seen such snapshot on the table before. Oh really? No, never. This is a this it, it make you cry sometimes. <laughs> right, watch this. It's gonna be a screamer! No, oh, it's a screamer! <laughs> it's a screamer! It's a screamer! <laughs> this is wonderful oh. news! <laughs> oh dear me. Wow, uh, so that, was, that was positive energy. That was, that was positive energy, wasn't it? And you gained two momentum. So I gained two points of momentum. And you can use one to make vitriol dodge if you wish. Um, We'll have a little look and see if that's worth it now. Yeah. So, hoping that it goes to Shark. The ball has gone out to that position there. This is where it goes out to Midas, Midas goes to Scott. Correct. <laughs> no, I can or see that. <laughs> we'll okay. see. So here we go. So it's going to go in the one, four inches. So well, let's roll them one at a time. White for direction. Oh, in the four. four. That's good. That's good. Uh, about five inches would be nice. Four. four inches, that's pretty good for you, that. So the ball is yeah, there. Not too bad. And you're not going to want that to snap. No, I'm alright with that. There you go. Uh, so looking all right there. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. That's that's turn one activation calculus. Uh, doing a superb job, it must be said. Uh, so it's going to go back over to the fishies. Here we go. So trying to bring it back for the fishies. It's got to be mm. the captain. Lots of predicaments there. Well, it, it's pretty tough, isn't it? Because we just spent things. a while going through it. There's some with you being at ten VPs. There is serious problems when I score a goal but at this point I don't really have any it's got to be the thing to do and hope for a bad bounce out of the ball purely because you can just start beating on a player with Midas or Vitriol mm -hmm. both fully loaded you don't need to play football anymore mm -hmm. and I cannot fight you with with my team so I'm gonna go for hopefully a goal with Shark um, banking a little bit on the ball coming back out of the net with a bounce that hopefully means you can't score in an activation and then maybe Sakana or Grayscales may be able to snatch something. Uh, it's all I've got at this point. <laughs> okay, so this is pre-measured, so you're first of all going to pop your legendary. Yep, so everybody with an 8 is caught in a net, so it will get Midas, and it will get Calculus, but not Vitriol. Uh, so we'll pop these out, so it is Flask and Mercury. There we go. Uh, minus. So this means that everybody is minus. Minus four, minus four, minus four move. That's incredible. <laughs> <laughs> so from his six, he's yep. going to spend uh, three to Tidal Surge Compound. Okay. And the Tidal Surge Compound to the... You don't have to roll for that, do you? Oh, you yes, do, I do you? Yeah. <laughs> oh. <sighs> Gluttonous mass. Yeah. We will come back at the end of this because there's been a lot of planning that went into that and Jay is going to go inside the playhouse. <laughs> wow, um, yeah, that's not gonna happen. 
Yeah, it's, it's only right after all of that working out <laughs> that we that we allowed Jay because it's oh. well, it's been a, it's been a fantastic, interesting yep. game. So you're actually going to title surge yourself. Yes, I'm not going to do it on compound after all. I'm going to do it on myself. Okay, so that so allows still you. Still cost three. Yep, cost uh, three. And he will go literally half an inch back just to snap. Snaps the ball. Yep. And three and a bit forwards. Basically, he's going to be there. Two inches two. away. Yep. Good stuff. And. Yeah, mm -hmm. just nudge him in a bit, and then he will, he spent three, he will buy an attack on compound. Okay, now I have got momentum here, and Do I you? think it's worth doing a counter at it this certainly point. certainly is. So, uh, it is worth doing a counter, I think anyway. Yep. Okay, so... Threes and one. Threes and one, gluttonous mass. Triggers. Triggers, so no longer gluttonous mass, duh. Um, so I get to hit you back, and I attack five. Mm -hmm. On tuck five, um, so hopefully going to mess up your day a little bit. How much have you got left now? Uh, I've got two influence left. You've got two influence left. Mm. Two influence left. Okay, so we're going to roll this, and we need fours with one armor. Is that right? Yep. Fours with one armor, and we get three, which is going to go down to two. Let's so have a little look at his playbook and see what we're going to do. That was always going to be incredibly tough. Yeah. Um, you tried very hard to work that yeah. out, but it's not happened because the two um, is going to tackle the ball and also do a one inch push. And of course, I'll push you outside of the melee. Yep, um, so we're going to do that now, and that will end you, will it? Uh, yeah. I've got two left. There is. I can quick foot someone within four. There is no one within four. Yeah. Yeah, keep you outside. Be done. There we go. So we're going to do all of that now and come back with the alchemist. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, yeah. to quote, so to good. quote, Chuckle Brothers. Yep. Um, so back over to Alchemist. So looking at it, of course, because of the, what's it called, gut and string? Uh, caught in the net. Caught in the net, caught in the net. I'll get used to these fishermen mm -hmm. terms next at some point. Um, it's going to be tough to get the ball away, so it's kind of giving the goal to the fish. But, you know, we're going to try and get that kill. That's what mm -hmm. we're going for here. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to spend the momentum that we gain now. And we're going to pop up his heroic and just start beating down on... So it's the plus one damage heroic, yeah? It's the plus one damage heroic. That's what we're going for. Okay. Now, he is tack six. Mm -hmm. uh, and, of course, you do get a free counter attack on you. Uh, but there's nothing scary you can do knocking down. No, or... I've got a one inch dodge. You've got a one inch dodge. Uh, I won't use my free camera attack. Okay. You won't use it? Oh, no, so is it then gone, is it? It's gone, yeah. It's gone. Okay, so here we go. So, Fours uh, and one armor. Fours and one armor. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. So we get that. Goes to two. So we're going to do the one damage, which is going to go to two. two. No problem. I know you spent that there. So we're going to spend another one. Here we go, it goes off, and we're going to do the same again. And we're going to try and get him pretty low. Okay, here we go. Okay, so that, wow, that was pretty good. Um, so that goes to three there. And we're going to do the same again. Yeah. So one damage each goes to two. This carries on going to plan, he will be on one HP at the end of this animation. That's what we're going for. Here we go, let's go again. Um, so they just disappear, that goes. So same again, two yeah. damage. Cool. Spend his next one. Same again. Nothing. Oh. Nothing. So fours and one. Doesn't get anything that time. Okay. So we're going to go again. So I'm down to two. Mm -hmm. Oh. So drop dice. Drop dice never count. Here we go. Um, so we get one. Two damage. Which is going to be two damage. Mm -hmm. We're going to spend again. It's all minus at the moment. <laughs> so one more after this. Uh, oh, none. Oh. And last one. <laughs> Here we go. What can we get? And that's better, isn't it? So we're going to get three, which is going to be uh, another two damage there. That leaves Karna on five. Leaves him on five. Wow. So not quite what we wanted. We've got no. two complete misses there. Yeah. Um, but we have got him down. Uh, so that's going to leave the goal wide open for the fisherman. Here we go. So Sakana's is going to go next. Mm. He senses uh, he might be able to heal himself and help himself out a little bit here. <laughs> yeah, so he's going to buy an attack, leaving the fives, five dice. He gets two. He gets two. He will take a momentous one inch dodge. So a momentous one inch dodge takes him an inch away. He's going to stay in, Just like that. so. He would buy 
No one. So is he down to? So he will buy another attack. He's going to buy another one attack. So he's two down gone. to two. So what's he get here? Any fives? Gets one. He'll take the momentous one each dodge. So he's on two, and he's staying in there. Uh, I'm out of your one, but yeah. I should still be in your two. Yep. Yeah. Oh, no, just out. That's okay. Yeah, just move him back in. Move him to touch. Yep. Uh, I'm on two momentum. I will buy one more attack. I'm going to buy one more attack. Which is two. Yep. I will take the momentous one in dodge. So up to three. You're going to dodge. Uh, two there. Dodge and there. then he's going to spend one, two. He will just sprint to here. In within cover. And he will spend one momentum to heal himself. So he's going to take himself up to nine boxes, mm. which is a big difference. Yes. <laughs> it's a big, big, big difference. It's going to be a big ask from Vitriol to go and do her stuff. But she will probably go next. Yes. So we'll have a look. So Vitriol, she's going to go next. Lots and lots of thinking. Now that, that uh, caught in a net is a pain. <laughs> <laughs> it's a pain. And the fact that Sakana was able to take himself up to, to nine is also a bit of a pain. So it's not looking as good necessarily for mm. the alchemist at this point. Um, so Vitriol is going to go next. She is going to go next. And uh, she's just going to be walking up into base contact with him like so. We'll move these out of the way because that's from lots of previous measuring. <laughs> he's going to use his unpredictable movement. So he's going to use his unpredictable movement he's going to dodge two inches which will keep you to in. The, yes absolutely. Keep you in the melee uh, and I'm going to spend one to hit you. Uh, and are you countering? Five. Yes I will. So you are going to counter. Uh, so we're going to do Vitriol's dice roll in now. So looking for a minimum of two and it's forced to hit you. Yes. Uh, with no armor. Correct. Okay here we go. And we do get the two mm. that we need, which is going to be that momentous push dodge, push dodge, which we're going to do now. So she's brought them back together. Back yes. together. Uh, so needed fives here. Your and you get two. Two. He will just take his uh, double dodge. So you can do a double dodge. Obviously, still, I will still be too, still engaged. There we go. Uh, so she's going to hit again. Mm -hmm. uh, needing those fours and gets two. Uh, which will be a momentous push dodge again, which I'll do now. And there we go. So we're going to push him back in towards the cover there. So I'm going to move that inch there. Oh, just move the cover back. And then, Oopsie. <laughs> yep. Vitriol will follow up just so she stays two inches away from him. Yeah, two inches. And then she's going to hit again. Now this does give her some extra dice, I believe. Uh, she's, she basically ends up net. She gets plus two tack for models in cover, but you lose one, so it's basically just plus one. So plus one there, um, and she's going to spend one to hit you again here. Okay, so needing the fours, and we get three. Three results that time. So we'll look at Vitrio's card, and three. Uh, we're probably going to do a momentous push dodge again, and cool. we'll work out what we're doing now. So she's doing what she needs to do here, generate some momentum hopefully make it a little bit more difficult for Mr. Grayscale. She's going to hit again, uh, and again needing fours, she's going to get all of them this time. Uh, gets four. Gets four. So she could do three damage which goes to four. Yeah. Has he got tough hide or anything now? He's not, that'll put him on eleven. That'll put him on eleven. I mean, it's a bit risky for next turn maybe. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, I think I'll do that then. Cool. Um, so going to do four damage there. Oh, really, I want the momentum though. Okay. Something else? What I want the got? momentum. Yeah, maybe I'll, I'll clone. Play. Momentous clone. It's no good for this turn, I don't think. No, but it's momentous. No. Uh, I, I think I'm probably going to do another push, push dodge, push. and I'm going to look at that now. Here we go. So Grayscales is now going to do his thing. Uh, so we've pre-measured this, of course. Grayscales is going to where they go, spending mm -hmm. a point, and he's going to move up to this position here. And then from there, he's then going to charge two inches away from compound to there. Yeah. So just that two inches there. And he is going to hit him. I'm going to spend a point to counter attack. Okay. But I think. Well, yeah, because yeah, you'll be trying to tackle the ball, won't you? So, okay. So you have threes oh. and one. Okay. Threes and ones here. A wrap would be wow. good. Uh, okay, so you'll it's miss. Good. And then one. There's the one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, so it is a wrap. Ah, oh, damn it. <laughs> Which is what I want. So I will take the tackle and the momentous push dodge. Makes sense, there we go. So tackle and momentous oh. push dodge. Push him an inch that way. Grace Girls will go an inch that way with the ball. There we go. And he gained a momentum. 
Oh, God, that was a good roll, man. I know. It was a really good uh, roll. <clears throat> I'm going to spend my last influence and want to shoot. Do I want a bonus time? Because I really want to be close for the roll. I'm not going to bonus time it. You're not going to bonus I'm time? I'm just going to take the shot. Just going to take the shot. <laughs> okay. you got three dice, and this is where your fish repeat the curse of the weekend. Sorry. <laughs> no, no, he's no, good. They love it. Uh, so that's going to take it to 10, 8, and Ooh. the ball is going to bounce out. We're going to do that now. So we need to get that ball away from Shark. It's not looking clear cut and it probably will come down to prior round. I've only got plus one here, mm -hmm. but I'm not too bothered about that because I'm going to roll a six. <clears throat> so uh, I want the ball to go in the five. This is where you roll, yeah. I want one. it to go in the five and I want it to go six inches. Okay. Roll. Yeah, I want yep. it to go there. That's where we want the ball. Okay, you ready? <laughs> ready? Alchemist Dice will do this for me, no problem. A no, one. It's going to go in the one, Grim. <laughs> okay. <laughs> And it's going to go six inches. Six inches. Two. 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 That's not bad actually. It's on the rough. It's on the rough, so it's yeah. going to land there. Yeah, that's good. Jump. Yep. And uh, there we go. So that is the end of the fish activation there, and we're going to come back with the rest of the activations. And the rest of the activations. So yeah, lots of little ones to do now. So he's just going to move up to that position there and pop smoke. Hemlock is going to move there. <laughs> he's going to move back an inch. So there. Salt's going to move to there. Yeah, he's just going to move an inch to that point there. There we go. Here we go. So uh, last one. Jack's just going to move up in space contact with him. And he is going to move it to a movement two inches towards Sakana. Yep. Mm -hmm. And that ends everything, yeah? Yep. Brilliant. So uh, These we, all go away. These God. all go away, <laughs> which, is, uh, which is great news for me. And. I've only got plus one here. Mm. I'm, I'm all right though because I'm rolling a six. So am I. <clears throat> oh, actually, you win. <laughs> You're yeah. not rolling a six. <laughs> well, you can set the bar, my friend. Uh, there's no conditions or anything that needs to be done here. Uh, no. So look for that logo. That's what you're going to see now. That one there. Good You're luck, Mr. Former. <laughs> best of luck. It's the complete opposite. You win. I win. This is wonderful <laughs> news. I uh, possibly go on to win the game. Yes. Have a wonderful pitch. We've uh, we've had a great game. Really been, good been, catching up with your mate. It's been good fun. Both of us learned an absolute ton while playing this mm -hmm. about both teams, yeah, which yeah. has been great fun, uh, which is what you want. Of course, I've stacked up um, Mr. Midas there because he should, should be able to go and kill Skana. Should. Have he is seven. engaged by Jack at the moment, I've just realised. Oh, tricksy, tricksy, tricksy. And Jack does knock downs and stuff, does he? Jack knocks down on four hits and he's tuck five. There we go. So I didn't see that then. Um, so we've got one on calculus we've also got four there on vitriol uh we've got two on mercury mercury and uh, in the meantime you've got four on sakana you've got uh ba -ba 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 -ba. four on grayscales and six on shark which is Fantastic. my standard layout so there we go that is our pitch we're going to come back after alchemists go first so Jay is under strict instructions not to roll the dice because of course if this fluffs up then I'm in a lot of trouble because uh, Shark will probably go and win the game. Uh, but this is all for entertainment value <laughs> so um, we're going to do it. Uh, he's going to go out and you are going to try and hit Jack. So he's going to take a part in blow as Midas leaves. Uh, Midas intends to walk over to Sakana. Okay. So if I get four fives I will knock him down. Which you're not going to do. Three. <laughs> I have to scan. <laughs> These dice have got light reflecting off of them. Scared me to death. Oh. Scared me to death. Three. Midas takes two damage. Midas takes <laughs> two damage. And hopefully we'll now go and do this. So here we go. Trying to get you out of cover. Trying to get some momentum. You've got nine health left. Nine boxes. Uh, you get a free counter. You can take it. Uh, yeah. Why yeah. Not? Why not? Okay. So needing three uh, one armor. Four's one armor. Four's one armor. Oh, oh, that's one off the table. That looks right. cocked as well, so I'll re-roll that, even though it's a good result. Oh, okay, that's good. Uh, so we get one. Uh, that's not good. I don't think he's got momentous one. Oh, yeah, he does. Momentous heavy burden. Momentous heavy burden. Not yeah. what I wanted, but I get the point of momentum. Yeah. <clears throat> so we're popping up the plus one damage. Um, and... I only get five dice because you are in cover. Mm -hmm. So this isn't, isn't guaranteed. Okay, so fours and one. There we go. That's good. Two damage. So that's going to be two damage. Yep. Okay. So we're spending that next one. Yep, that's right. <laughs> I was looking then and thinking, where has it all gone? That one goes. That 
That's his third That's one. Seven. He had seven, yeah. That's my third one, so I've hit once. You're heavy burden, then heavy you've burden. just done two damage, and that's for this attack. And that's for this yeah. attack. There we go. Okay, so here we go. Needing fours one, fours and one. So yep. Two damage. So another two damage. He's on five. So he's on five. So we spend the next one. Same again. Tense moments. Fours one. Fours one. Gets it. Two, two damage. damage. Spends the next one. Yep. Oh, just. Two <laughs> he's on one health. He's on one health. Spends two attacks left. Spends the next one. And that does him. And that is going Ooh. to take Sakana out. That was tense in the end. <laughs> A lot tense than I hoped after turn two. Two. So, yeah, By turn two, two, it was like 10 VPs. Absolutely incredible. So <laughs> that ended with a 12 8. Victory right. to the Alchemist. This is our table. Absolutely cracking game. Really enjoyed that. Very tactical. Learned lots and lots from it. I think there's only one thing to do, Mr. Finnegan. We're going to do handshake. an epic handshake with Mr. Informer and go to a post match report breakdown. Wow. <laughs> that was nuts. <laughs> oh my eyes. Yeah. I think is the old catchphrase. What a cracking game. That was crazy, wasn't it? It was a little bit mad. It was fast. That was one of the busiest turn ones I've ever seen. It was incredible, wasn't it? Yep. Let's, uh, let's break it down a little bit. Mm. Um, I think we should start things off. So I think Calculus is worth the first mention. Yeah, that um, the, literally, obviously, Fish did what Fish do turn one, which was Shark went and kicked the ball, and he fully intended on doing his turn one uh, first activation goal. But with where Mercury went first for the Alchemist, and with where Mercury put the ball, there was a little bit too much crowding with Flask and Compound. Yeah. With having two engaged compounds and not trigger Rush Keeper, he would have been buried. Yeah. Um, so I thought I'd hold off for a while. And then Calculus just running up to cover and throwing the, uh, I think it was bonus, did you, yeah, it was bonus time because of the pass. Yeah, that's right, and, yeah. And putting the blind on Shark absolutely ruined his day. Yeah. And then I was sat off waiting for the moment to do it. Um, and when he went, I really felt it like tack four base. Yeah. That's tricky. Uh, we forgot about it until the last minute, but thanks to the new version of Blind, he was only millimetres in, because I was still yeah. playing in my head with an eight inch kick. Yeah. Um, on a normal day, that would have caught someone a couple of millimetres out and actually ruined that and left Shark in a horrible place. Yeah, what it did was it kind of froze him yeah. to, to have to go last, really. Yeah. Um, which then freed me up massively to do what mm -hmm. I wanted to do, which was to, of course, get out there. I got that takeout with Midas, which yes. was a bit of a surprise. Yeah, I, like, I genuinely didn't see uh, obviously I pushed Hemlock forward just to sort of, in turn one it's always I'm going to do something to try, and, to try and force you to show your hand and I genuinely didn't myself see that I'd left Midas within eight of Hemlock Yeah. and obviously now she's def five not six and only ten health. And it was something that I'd read just, mm. just the other day, uh, the fact that if you pop up that heroic, even though you're not a damage dealing team, I think we said it on one of the clips. Uh, you know, you do kind of look at a game and go, well, where are they going to get their VPs from? Clear with fish. You're not mm -hmm. going to do damage really to me. No. You might push me off a board edge, mm -hmm. you know, but you know, my game's going to be in the middle of the board really mm -hmm. now. Um, you're probably going to have to score three. I'm probably going to score two and kill two. Kill so to have that opportunity correct. to get up with Midas and knowing that if you pop his heroic, he should, should, should. reliably do 14 damage. Yeah. You're looking uh, at two damage per hit. You're much. looking at two damage per hit because yeah. he only needs that on one. Mm -hmm. However, the game did have that swing back, so you scored 6-4, I'd scored, of course. Yeah, so we ended turn one at 6-4, which is crazy for turn one. Which was crazy, Yeah. which was absolutely crazy, but I was pretty confident of then going up to the 10-4 because of where the ball and that yeah, was Yeah, the last activation of the turn was the goal, so you kicked the ball out. Obviously, when you won the roll-off for turn two, you could see that you had... Uh, calculus was in a perfect place to generate some momentum and... Vitriol was still sat in snapshot distance of the goal. Yeah. Uh, and that was uh, the obvious first activation, and that took it to 10 4. Took it to 10 4, exactly. Which, it, yeah. at, that, at which point, I was reasonably confident with Midas having not gone yeah. and Vitriol hanging around still with four on her because mm. that had been a snapshot that, she, that either of those yeah. could maybe I, go. I was, in, it was, I was in massive trouble at that point. Yeah. Huge trouble. Uh, and then somehow. It, yeah, Shark went. We. I forgot about Glutinous a little bit. That threw out what he was going to do. 
Um, yeah, I think although although we, we mentioned Calicus a lot because of uh, what she did uh, to Shark in the first turn, and of course what she did at the start of the yeah. next turn with the ball, I think you know you, you might look at her for man of the match. But just compound for the last two turns, impact. compound just ruined Shark's day. He really did. Yeah. That's you, in your in my head as a fish player, as much as I've used him, I literally in my head I'm like. The ball's not a million miles away. Shark's got six in ones. I should score. Yep. And Compound genuinely stopped that. I ended up, because I couldn't tidal surge him, because Gluttonous was up, I ended up tidal surging myself mm -hmm. because I couldn't take a parting blow to go and get the ball. And then I flew back in, knowing I was going to... And then upon Triggerly... So I tidal surged for three. I went back in, bought an attack. And then at that point, when he countered and tackled the ball back, I didn't have enough to then generate momentum and shoot. Yeah. It, it literally ruined Shark's, Shark's day. That was that was grim, I must admit. That that really caught me on the back foot. It was a wonderful moment. It was. It was glorious. But the, it was game, good to see. the game had the opportunity to swing back, though, because mm. then Midas went and completely fluffed two out of his seven on Sakana. His, aim was, to leave, his aim was to leave Sakana on one health, yeah. at which point he couldn't take a parting blow because he, he would have died. Yeah. Or even if he did heal like he did, he would have only been on five. Yeah. Which is, which is a far cry from the, the nine he ended up on, it's a big difference. Yeah, of course. And he was able to, to dodge away and basically get out of Midas' threat. Uh, and then obviously there was a lot of just free activations. Um, Vitriol went into Grayscales, just generate. We, we basically went into Momentum War at that point. Yeah. It was like, it's now, sorry, Grayscales scored. Yeah. So it was now 10 8. Yep. And it was like, right, if. You kick the. It was like I need one of us needs to go first here. Shark maybe be able to get the ball. It, it is a little bit far away, and you had a kill. And then we both just switched. There was a lot of free activations who didn't move, and everyone else just played for momentum really. Yeah, and going first was obviously mm -hmm. going to be very, 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 very key there because I think you could have got to that ball with with Shark. I reckon he would have got there. Yeah. Would have been a bit of fiddling around, but it would have been good key. use of his tidal surge and yeah. things like it. Probably would have been just a throw. He probably would have had to title surge himself, but it probably would have been done if we, if we got all the yep. widgets out and stuff. But it was a lot closer than I think we thought at the start of turn two. Yeah, I think at the start of turn two, I, <laughs> I could see I could see how I was going to get another goal, yeah. Yeah. another kill. Yeah, yeah. I was looking at it and I was thinking, I've I've got another goal in me here. We were talking about it and we were like, you've got options at this point. Yeah. You've got the I've otter got, on the goal. Well, I was looking, I was like, yeah, yeah I, I, I can score. Yep. And I should be able to kill. Yeah. <laughs> I was lucky with the scatter out as well. Uh, yeah, After the, the second goal, the scatter was good for me. And I think there was a wrap mm. as well that you got. Um, oh, the Grayscale's charge was onto compound for the goal. It was beautiful. He needed a wrap. He needed a wrap. Because you countered, I had to tackle and get out. Yeah. Uh, so that what I was actually going to do, if I didn't get the wrap, it would I wouldn't have got the goal, but I was going to use balls gone. Yeah. Which would have just put the ball on shark. Okay. You'd have got your counter, but the ball would have been clear. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it was a very close game, and I give it my best to pull it back. From that turn two swing. And I hope it's incredibly insane for you guys because yeah, it was absolutely wonderfully fun for us to play. I'm so glad that we finally managed to get a game, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Too long. Uh, especially this kind of learning report mm. where both of us. We both camera, learned a lot out of this, yeah. Yeah, we both, we both sort of sat there and discussed a lot about various options, and that's always a really, really good way yeah. to, uh, to, to continue to uh, improve your prowess in the game is to have mm. those kind of conversations that we had. Uh, but it's 10 o'clock now. I think there is no better. <laughs> Place because of course this isn't the start of the Alchemist series. Mm -hmm. This is just a little bit of a taster of what's to come because we don't have a name for it yet. We don't. We don't have a name for it. I was trying to think of one, you know. I haven't got one yet. I think I might have one in my mind, but whew, I don't know. <laughs> I'm not sure it's got the same <clears throat> as Abattoir Way days. Um, <laughs> but there is a competition, and we're going to say that this video, the comments in this video, is the competition where the competition is going to be. Mm -hmm for getting your name suggestions for Season 2 Alchemist Match Report nice. series. So I want to see lots of you get involved in that. I want you to plug it on your, what can they win? On your shows. Something. <laughs> uh, we will throw in a couple of gold tokens for Global Informer as well, for whoever wins that. There you go. There you go, a couple of gold tokens, and uh, to be fair, I'll probably get a, uh, a miniature. Yeah. I'll probably get a miniature to put out to you guys for that, um, and maybe maybe say that you can choose it as long as it's under a certain amount. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's not one of these. Yeah, it's not one of these twenty-five pound models. 
<laughs> and that'll, that'll be okay. Yeah. Uh, but do get involved because mm. we want you to be a huge part of this. And remember, if you're enjoying the content on Hot Gates Gaming, whether it's Guild Ball, Hobbit, or you want to see anything else going forward, then please do get yourself onto the Patreon in the video description below because it's the Patreon which is going to allow us to create even more content. And remember, if you are back in the Patreon, you become part of the board of directors, which means that you can influence what I do going forward. If you like Guild Ball and you want to see more Guild Ball, get on Patreon and make it happen. We've had a great game. Great game. Really, really good. Brilliant, that, man. Lovely good to see you. And uh, make sure you go and check out this guy on his little known channel. <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget to comment, like, share, and subscribe. And we'll see you in the next Guild Ball. Cheers, guys. <laughs>